Hello students, uh, this is Vinod from Endurance Engineering Academy. So in this video, I'm going to discuss about one very important question which might come to many of the students uh, during their final year, uh, especially during their final year, okay, at the end of the final year most probably. So what is that question? Shall I drop an year for gate preparation? Like dropping an year for gate preparation, is it good? Can I drop an year and prepare for gate? All are same questions only. So this is the question which uh, the students might get during their final year and many of them will get confused at, at that point of time to make a proper decision. I'm not going to say um, like uh, to drop an year or not to drop an year. Instead, I'm going to give you the benefits and uh, the demerits and what are all the difficulties which you will face and uh, how to overcome it okay so let us start the video so dropping an year okay for a gate preparation as i said already it has both advantage and also disadvantage let me give you one straight straight example okay i have seen uh, a student who dropped one year and prepared properly and uh, got a very good rank and get into PSU or IIT. That, that has also happened. I have seen a student who dropped one year but he is not able to make it. So he dropped another year, another year and then he got into some PSU or IIT. That has also happened. And I have seen student who dropped one year, two year, three year and finally giving up on gate. That has also happened. So uh, falling under first two categories is very good. Okay, even if you drop third year and then if you get into PSU, that is also good. Okay, but dropping three years and then giving up, if you are going to fall into that category, if you don't want to fall into that category, just go through this video fully so that you will get an idea. Okay, what I should do or I should not. Okay, see dropping an year or dropping two year and then getting into what they want, either PSU or IAT, that's well and good. But dropping, that is investing their uh, time in gate preparation and then giving up after three year or four year, if you should not fall under this, okay, you need to think properly and decide initially. Okay, listen. The first thing, uh, why this is happening? Why why uh, a person can crack it, crack the gate after taking a break of one year itself? And why not? And why a person is taking two years and why some person is taking more than three years, more than four years and still he is not able to get it. He or she is not able to get it. Why this is happening? Let us talk from the first case. Case one, the person who cracked by taking a drop of one year. Okay. See, a person who is taking a drop of one year and he is cracking in the sense like he is getting into what he want, either IIT or uh, public sector, then obviously he will be, he must be a student who would have uh, gone through that is would have had some knowledge about gate before itself for example a final year student who tried gate in his final year okay who tried gate in his final year but he is not that is he didn't prepare properly but partially he prepared partially he ended up with some uh, 20 marks or uh, something like that okay 15 20 25 something like that instead of getting a very good rank he ended up with some marks even not qualified also let us consider he is not qualified but he will be having an idea about gate, what is gate, how he, how he should prepare and what are all the things which is important under gate preparation, etc. As he is already having an idea, so implementing that idea during the break period of one year will be a little bit more simpler than a person who is starting fresh. Until four years of your engineering, you have not done anything and freshly you are starting to... Uh, prepare okay freshly everything fresh even you don't know abc of uh, engineering you have completed four years of engineering but you don't know the abc of engineering then it's going to be difficult for you to crack in in that first year okay so what i will suggest is um i will first complete the first case fully okay that is one then that is one possibility of the first case the another possibility is uh, a person taking a break even though he didn't prepare for he even though he didn't prepare for gate exam during his uh, four year time okay during his uh, btech time but he is taking a break and he is clearing in first year itself then uh, how it is possible 
the possibility is um, the way in which he have identified what to do for gate what not to do for gate uh, his mistake analysis his test series ultimately he have selected he or she uh, the person okay student a let us consider the student a has selected a proper guide proper mentor proper coaching institute or even self preparation also even if you are in self preparation you need a guide okay, you need a mentor because it's a it's a process where you will commit mistake where you will do something some something which is going to affect your preparation and you need someone to say that okay don't do it change it you have to do it in this way you need to correct it there should be some person who need to say right and uh, as i was saying the student a who doesn't have any knowledge about gate initially but he got all the knowledge from some other person from a guide who helped him in the process okay that is that is majorly two possibilities one is who might have had a knowledge initially even the person who is having a knowledge of gate initially also he will be doing some mistakes during his preparation he will be committing some 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 errors in his preparation in his oral preparation so he also need a proper guidance from a proper person okay so what i was saying is the student a okay the student a means a person who is uh, who is cracking after dropping one year has done his work properly his work is his work is done properly and wherever he is he, if he is not for example this is the path which he need to travel whenever he diverts from the path there is a person who guides him back to that path okay so he have a proper mentor and he also had a uh, proper discipline dedication and consistency consistency in his preparation okay so that is for the story of the person one and you might say that sir that's it uh like if i have a very less cgpa if i have uh, if i don't have that much knowledge uh can't i cra- crack in first attempt see you need to be open minded it doesn't mean that if you don't have a good cgpa if you don't have uh, uh if you don't have less uh, uh what is that if you don't have very good cgpa you cannot crack a gate in, in your first attempt you can you can do it you can do it but you need to follow what is uh, there are two things right correct a right path uh, a more efficient path and a path which might also give you a result okay i'm not saying that the other path won't give you a result the other path will also give you a result but it might take some time a right path more efficient path uh, might give you a result in a little quicker time so you need to follow that path so that is uh, student a student b he would have committed lots of mistake that a student b means the second category not cracking in his first year of dropping an year and then he is cracking in the second year cracking in the sense getting into psu or iit don't think that he is just qualifying okay right so if that is a category that is a category now in his first year he would have got lots and lots of experience by preparing from the preparation from lots of mistakes every mistake every mistake each and every mistake the revision mistake test series mistake uh, the content which he followed mistake and uh, how he managed the time that mistake how he approached the problem that mistake so each and every mistake which he is doing in his first year he will start correcting in his second year the student a which i said whatever the mistake he is doing in the first year he will be correcting in its first year itself In so this. in his first year itself and wherever he is going wrong there might be a person there might be a mentor who will be helping him to uh, travel in a right path coming to that person who doesn't uh, cracked in his first year but he given his effort he given his effort in first year also he is given his effort but he is giving in a, he is giving an effort in a direction uh, where there will be lots of uh, mistakes and where there will be lots of learning which he needs to get but he won't do it in his first year all the mistakes all the learnings everything whatever he did in the first year he will learn it in the second year the con- content whatever he learned the concept and all the first year itself he would have prepared but in the second year he will correct that whatever the thing which he which he lagged in the first year he will correct it and that will give him a result in the second year and that is after taking a break of two year and the third category which i said first year taking a break not using that break properly which means is not attending the class uh, if he is joining a uh, offline or online classes is not taking the test series if he take the test series only he will get to know that right he whether is doing the mistakes or not 
he is not uh, taking the short notes he is not taking the main notes he is not doing anything literally he registered for a course he he just wasting his time he or she okay again there is no gender bias here he or she whatever um uh, student c he wasted his one year thinking that he is preparing but he is not okay i hope you are getting my point and the same thing he will repeat in the second year and same thing he will repeat in the third year maybe he would have improved something some few few things he would have improved in a second year and few few things he would have improved in the third year which might give him some 40 marks or 45 marks which is not going to be sufficient after taking a break of 3 years i hope you got the point so in literally in all the three cases student a student b student c you could see that the fact was uh, whatever they are learning how they are going to um like if they get diverted okay if they get diverted if they are doing mistakes if they are doing some errors if they are doing it in a different path which is not going to be more efficient whoever the person who correct corrects it soon or corrects it uh, uh what is that in a quicker time he is the person who is able to uh, crack psu or iit sooner either in his first attempt for after taking one year break or after taking two year break or a person who might have not of course there are some persons who might have taken after third year uh, after taking a three year break break but the problem is why to waste that one first to two year or why to waste that uh, extra time if you could able to uh, do everything right in your first of course difficult i'm not saying that everyone can do everything right in his first attempt of course you will do something wrong if you do it if if you are in that process that's what i'm saying if you are student b or if you are student a you are good no issues at all even student c also after doing mistakes in first two year if you correct it in third year fine but if you keep on repeating it if you keep on doing the same thing again and again wasting your time and not investing the time in a proper way not putting effort in a proper way then taking a break is not at all useful i hope you got my point so taking a break means you are going to invest that time for some goal for some uh, aim which you are having if you are going to invest that time in that goal or in that aim you need to make sure that you invest that time properly efficiently you say you are you will just say that i am investing uh, the time for that goal or that aim but if you don't do it if you don't do it in action if you just think if you just uh, thought then it's not going to be useful student a student b both have both of them have shown uh, it in their action but student c is not i just i'm giving an examples okay so that you can understand it a little bit easily so now coming to a question if you are a final year student okay and uh, if you want to take a break okay first question that i will answer my answer is it's completely your uh, what is that your mindset only if you feel that i want to get into psu or you want to get into iits or masters or nit mumbai or whatever okay whatever the gate could give you all the advantages of gate most of you guys know okay so if you want to do that if you feel that i want to achieve it i want to i i have a aim of that then go for it but just going there that is just dropping a ear is not going to be useful how well you are utilizing it see even though the stay, uh, student b who doesn't able to crack in his first attempt but he utilized the first year properly from this level for example when he comes out of final year he developed it to this level of course he had done number of mistakes and now he is learning the mistakes now he reached this level after second year attempt so that is also fine i am saying which which doesn't mean that you need to take two year for cracking it what i meant was you need to give your effort you need to give your effort and that has to be in right direction if it happens sooner you will crack it sooner if if you take more time for understanding it then it might take uh, somewhat more time for cracking also and if you are going to fall under third category i will never recommend you to take a break please okay it's it's honestly that's what i'm saying because i i need to say the hard uh, hard reality right if you want to take a break and if you want to prepare then you need to make up your mind that you are going to prepare instead of that you have lots of uh, entertainment lots of other activities if you want to have this goal you cannot simply that is you cannot simply travel in two trains at a time if you want to travel in this train you have to travel in this time 
uh, if you keep one leg in this train and if you keep another leg uh, another leg in this train you cannot reach both the destination if you want to enjoy if you want entertainment if you want other if you want to do other activities do it no issues but if you want to travel in this time yeah, that is if you want to travel in this train to reach the destination or to to reach the uh, aim or goal which you want then obviously you need to travel in this right keeping one leg here keeping one leg there no use okay so if you are taking a break make sure that you utilize it efficiently properly okay that uh, utilize it efficiently that two years okay the two years or one year whatever okay right now coming to as i said in this entire process you need a person okay select a person that is you need a guide you need a mentor you need a, a teacher of course if you are self preparing it is your wish okay but if you are not you need a teacher you need someone who has to push yourself who has to say that okay this is not the thing you have to change it okay this is not the thing you have to okay you are going in the correct way go go ahead so he has to say that you are right or he has to say that you are wrong and search for it and decide a person and follow him that's it so one problem with uh, the students are the present present students are they have lots and lots of things in internet youtube uh, facebook instagram or whatever what not okay they have lots and lots of things and they have lots and lots of uh, teachers faculties available in the internet including me okay so i will recommend you not to follow everyone not to follow everyone there will be few person who will be syncing with your uh, what is that uh, with your frequency you can just sync with them you can just uh, you, you can just merge with them and you can take help from them that's it very simple not ask you you should not go for all because if you keep on going for each and every person then you will end up with collecting all the strategies collecting everything from every person but you don't follow anything it will waste your time it's a biggest mistake many of the students are doing and that will also be a reason for delaying your success that is what i am saying okay so choose a person who is going to be with your frequency okay uh, who you feel that he will be the correct person for guiding me throughout this uh, uh, preparation process choose him travel with him that's it okay so that's it i hope that this video have cleared your doubts regarding dropping an ear okay so um, and again as i was saying uh, if you need any help from me or from our institute uh, it is always open you can uh, anytime contact us uh, our whatsapp number and our website everything was there in the description uh, even if you don't want to uh, what is that if you don't want to uh, uh, join in our institute for coaching but still if you want any guidance you can obviously ask us you can comment uh, in this video itself or you can whatsapp us okay it's completely your wish okay if you feel that you uh, you want our help okay that is uh, if you guys want our help from us okay so that's it uh, regarding this video i hope this video would have helped if you feel that it is helping you please do share with other students also so that it might help others also okay thank you